guys look at all these amazing machines here this is some crazy stuff uh, i kid you not we are in northern nevada right now if you guys want to look up on the map or maybe i'll post a picture we are in fallon nevada and this is crazy what i'm seeing here uh, look at all these amazing cars just parked here and it seems to be i don't know i'm gonna try to find out i don't know anything about this place whatsoever but i would love to find out guys this is insane look at all these amazing old school cars i just man i don't know what to say i'm just speechless honestly this is crazy look at all these bmw e30s look at this bmw e30 you know like it's it's insane look at all these volvos guys this is i don't know where i'm at literally this this is like a paradise to me this is insane and look at all these volvos dylan if you're watching you i'm sure you're gonna appreciate all these amazing machines this is insane Look at all these E30s. There's a bunch of Audis. There's a E32 right there. This is insane. E24. This is this is crazy, guys. I don't know what to say, honestly. Look at these machines. And there's so many of them. I really don't know what kind of is this. If this is a shop or whatever, I'm not sure what this is. But I'm going to try to find out. I really don't know what's going on, why all these cars are here. Maybe there's an enthusiast like me who just loves these cars and collects them. I'm really not sure. But this is crazy. Look at this W126 right here. Crazy, guys. What a lovely machine. Cool, huh? E38 740 IL. Can't wait to have one of these in my collection. Love these cars. Amazing machines. 325i. 731. Lovely machine. Guys, I don't know. I'm just drooling. So I really don't know what happened to the shop. I'm assuming this was uh, some kind of a shop before. Uh, they were probably working on, on a lot of these cars. But what's interesting is uh, if you look at this W126, there's a note inside saying, it's actually from 2018 saying, open fuel line and fuel pressure regulator. So I'm assuming they were working on this car at that time. But yeah, I really don't know much, guys. This is crazy. I don't know where I'm at, but you know, look at all these amazing machines. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of Audis A4 here. There's a bunch of Beamers and there's more Benzes there. It's insane. E32. Man, what a what an amazing collection. I'm so like, I don't know. I really want to find out what's going on here and uh, what happened, you know? Like if you see all of these cars here, I'm sure there's going to be a lot more inside. Because this shop is really, really big, but it seems like it's closed. I really don't know, but I'm going to try my best and find out actually what happened and why it's abandoned like this. Maybe it's not abandoned. I don't know. Maybe it's just, you know, I have no idea. I really don't know, but I just love seeing all these machines. And look at this BMW E32. It's got plates from 2015. There's actually a lot of plates from 2015 that I noticed. It's insane. How about that, huh? Look at the uh, Audi A8. W124 Mercedes-Benz 300E. There's a bunch of, there's actually a W116 in there. And it's really cool seeing all these amazing legendary cars. Look at this old school truck. And it seems like the person's taking care of it too. You know, look at the, put a sunshade inside and there's a sticker from 2015. Wow, I love all these machines. It's amazing, yeah. It just makes me, it just makes me smile every time I see old, like stuff like this, guys. I mean, I don't know, let me know what you guys think, but this is, this is a paradise to me. And even though like, you know, a lot of, uh, these cars have bad paint jobs, you know, and faded because it's really hot here in Nevada, especially during summertime. But, you know, it doesn't matter. They all deserve to live. They all deserve love and all that. But, yeah, I just want to share you, share some of these amazing moments with you guys because you got to save and love these amazing old school cars because they don't make them like they used to. Even these BMWs, they used to make amazing cars. But now, fortunately, all the makes uh that are made today uh they're disposable they're only good for five years and after that the car just falls apart and all those new cars are just not mechanic friendly you know think about replacing headlight bulbs you know a lot on a lot of new cars you have to remove the front bumper and the headlight assembly just to get to the bulbs like that's ridiculous yeah it's insane 
but i'm just happy seeing all these amazing machines here that means that there's an enthusiast here that loves these cars and you know yeah it's just it's just a good feeling in my heart yeah you guys are watching this video probably thinking oh man you know all these cars are just like left here but they're not i mean i have a i have a feeling that they're not i'm gonna find out more information about this shop but uh yeah so if we go this way there's this big truck right here too there's more stuff just want to explore a little bit but yeah, uh, this looks to look literally like this looks like a shop, uh, like like seriously like an automotive shop. But it's like hasn't been opened. But there's more goodies on this side. If you can see, there's a, a C126. There's a, there's actually a Saab right there too. Some more cars under the cover. Oh man, this is just uh, insane, guys. I really like I, I don't know what to tell you but you know honestly like if all those cars are there like what else is inside the shop there's gonna be a lot of stuff inside I'm more than sure you know I'm pretty sure this shop has a bunch of lifts too oh what a paradise guys this is this is so cool yeah I don't know if this belongs to the shop probably maybe oh, man this is so cool Stuff like this just makes me happy because, you know, I know there's uh, there's more good people out there that save these cars. You know, I'd rather see these cars uh, be here than just be at the junkyard, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm definitely going to try and find out more information for you guys. So you guys will have an idea of what's going on because I'm really curious myself. All these beauties. All those classic wheels man the dashboard has seen better days for sure because of the sun but who cares man <sighs> wow amazing legendary cars i'm really digging like you know just look, take a look at the colors you know how like how colorful were cars back then you know compared to like to today's cars like, today is literally you get like black white silver paint most of the time and look at all these amazing old school cars having like this e30 like it's such a beautiful green color like it's like insane volvos used to make also really colorful cars bmws mercedes all of them and oh man i'd love to revive all these legends right now and that bmw right there uh e32 you see those classic wheels i think that's a 750 il because they usually came with those wheels from the factory yeah but man it's just it's just insane i have no words guys and i'm sure these these cars have been here for a long time however you know i i really want to find out you know who whose place this is and well i'm going to try to give you information if i can find out what's going on but yeah i don't know i'm literally speechless i'm breathless and um let me know what you guys think about all these machines this is crazy this is literally like a of course it's not you can't call it a museum but this is a museum to my eyes because you know even seeing all these cars next to each other they're literally like brothers and sisters you know and uh you know just seeing all these old school machines it takes me back you know to you know 30 40 50 years ago and uh it's just such a great feeling i have a feeling that i'm somewhere in the 90s right now or maybe early 2000s and that's you know where we're that those are the times that we're living in early 2000s because just seeing all these cars in one spot you know this passat is like early 2000s um so yeah just i don't see any other newer cars here so definitely got to be an enthusiast uh you know to have all these amazing machines and loving them yeah but i really don't know i really don't know why you know they're just sitting here like that and this one has an open fuel line i uh, really don't know but yeah i'm gonna fix this window for this guy I'm just gonna push it up like that maybe see push that thing up W126 amazing car I don't know why I'm whispering but yeah well that BMW right there and that is a 750 AL yep 
right over there. Look at those classic wheels, amazing. Oh man, can't wait to have the some really i really love e38s those these seven series i feel like the seven series e38 is the last true seven series they made anything else after that is just doesn't give me the same feeling yeah all right babies i'll see you someday again soon all right can't wait to see you guys back on the road someday you know i wish i was here longer maybe i could meet the owner and help him revive these cars but i mean i'm sure not all of them i'm sure they just maybe some of them are you know they need love and care obviously but you know i don't think it would take much to get them back on the road and you know i'm sure you know most of them are actually locked so i think that uh you know there's keys titles to them and all that you know so i have a feeling they're all in good hands you know i just have to find out more information what's going on why they're here and why they're just like, they just seem abandoned more, so. All right, guys, so I was just at this place and I actually talked to the people. This place is not too far from that place that I just, you know, filmed not too long ago that like, I thought that it was like an abandoned place with all those, uh, all that paradise with all those amazing old school machines. But, you know, the person actually, the owner of the shop told me that, no, it's actually like, they collect those cars and it's not abandoned or anything like that, so. You know that makes me really happy and um that's actually really good you know i thought that maybe that place was just like maybe the owner passed away or something you know oh look at this wagon e46 wagon amazing yeah but no uh that place is not abandoned actually which is good you know it means like they hold on to stuff they love those cars and yeah that's the main thing you know i was worried about it that maybe it was abandoned or something